Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for another unboxing video. Today we are ripping 2023 NFL Mystery Tin. This will be my second 2023 Mystery Tin. Earlier I opened this Tom Brady one, didn't pull anything exciting as expected. The best card was probably the star parallel of the other Josh Allen. So let's see if we can do better with the quarterback Josh Allen tin. No expectation of pulling anything exciting from these tins. Mainly got it for the tin itself. But, uh, let's see if the four packs, if they'll be better than the Brady tin that I opened. A pretty nice looking color blast Josh Allen tin with Panini losing their NFL PA license. Not sure if they can still do one next year. These are released by MJ Holding. Not sure if MJ Holding is independent from Panini and maybe they can still do one next year. Okay, let's open up the select first like usual. This is the select draft picks. Starting off with a Najee Harris, maybe getting replaced by Jalen Warren. Oh, nice Ben Roethlisberger to Steelers to start off. And then a rookie Garrett Wilson. Next with a goal, but usually goal is number 10, but these are not numbered. Uh, Kayvon Thibodeau, but pretty cool looking goal laser. If, if this was regular select hobby, this would be very exciting to be number 10, but this it's just a gold laser that is not numbered. Pretty cool. Cave on Thibodeau. Finishing up, we have an old school Dan Marino. Okay. I would say this is probably better than the Logan Thomas I pulled from the first 10 of the graphic select. So Prism, let's see if we get anything. John Elway, Cly, Fred Warner, and a Bay Sam Howell. So not Prism. So all base Prism pack. At least a, a quarterback rookie. This is 2021 Optic. Starting out with um, Mike Fick, DJ Chark, Travis Kelsey, who is in a lot of Taylor Swift news these days, and then finishing off a retro series, Eric Dickerson. Okay. Last pack, zero expectation of pulling anything nice, but. Uh, color Blast, Josh Allington is uh, pretty good looking. Okay, let's see, starting off we have a Mike Evans, Quandre Dakes, Majerius Sneed, and then we have a legendary logo of Russell Wilson. So that is the tin. These are the only three non-base cards. I would say it's a bow expectation based on what I've seen from the tins. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you at the next one. Bye.